Balamin Engineering Society was started in the year 1966. The purpose of starting this society was to educate the educationally backward section of the community and also that section of the community which due to poverty was not attending to education. Because I thought through education I can improve the character of the human human being and through education I can teach them how to earn daily bread legally and also build up the self confidence. With that idea in 1966 I registered a society by name Alamein Education Society. We started first in Arts and Science Commerce College, then a number of institutions, right from LKG to postgraduate and research. And now we have all over the country 200 institutions, about 2 lakh students studying in various branches of education. The degree college was started 50 years before with just 32 students. 1968, the first mother institution, that is Alamein Art, Science and Commerce College, came into existence. And now, uh, this degree has got more than 1,000 students. We have BA, BSc, BCom, MA, MCom, all the courses. We have about 650 students of commerce alone in BCom and for PG also we have full strength and the allotted strength for it is about 60, we get full strength for PG as well. The science category we have physical sciences as well as life science. Under life sciences we have chemistry, zoology, botany, microbiology department. So we have combinations like CBZ, meaning chemistry, botany, zoology, and then chemistry, microbiology, and zoology combinations. Uh, PCM, physics, chemistry, mathematics, physics, mathematics, and computer science. So these are all the courses that we have in our institution for science graduates. And these are wonderful combinations because there's basic sciences. Today we have a lot of demand for basic sciences. For uh, art, we have HES, History, Economics, Sociology. We have JPE, Journalism, Political Science and Optional English courses. BA Journalism started in the year 2012 and 2013 academic year. And we have the subjects like Journalism, Optional English and Political Science along with the languages also. We have uh, PG courses. In this we have MA Economic, MA English, we have MCOM and uh, we have postgraduate studies in e-commerce and MA Urdu we have. MA English course comprises four semesters, have soft core papers and open electives too. Apart from this, at UG level we are providing various add-on courses. Human resource management is one of the add-on courses. We have a tally course. A computer training courses we are giving, communication skill, the classes we are conducting. Then apart from this, we offer courses in uh, skill development, personality development, etc. So a student, when he completes the course, he becomes a total citizen of the country. We have, we have world-class infrastructure facilities. We have good classrooms. Classrooms are very good furnished and even we have projector and we have good library and in library we have internet facilities to the students and we have the best uh, uh, museum well maintained museum and we have real real fossils of those dinosaurs and i don't think any college has got real fossils of uh, those animals which lived millions of years ago and uh, we are also helping the students in securing uh, educational loans then we give scholarships. More than two crores the society distributes. Every student gets scholarship. So that they can pay the fees of the college house. In that way also we are helping the students. The fee structure is also very nominal. 
we take the students on field trip we take the students for industrial visit sociology department has taken the students to old age house and science departments have taken the students for field work botany department has taken for collection of various type of plants and also zoology department has taken the students for field trips we have uh, research um, departments in commerce in a year or two we will have a research center even in english economic and uh, right from uh, degree level we will uh, start preparing the student keeping that in mind and uh, the results have been excellent results the pg always it is 10% results and ug some of the courses it is 100% some it is uh, more than 80% we take the students without any restrictions in marks we take all the students other colleges they have a cut off percentage like 70% or 80% or 90% like that in our college we admit students even with 35% and we make them pass in distinction our vision is also that if a boy or girl they are taking 40% 35% we provide them the education and if they complete the degree they can stand on their life and help their family apart from academics if you take sports for the past 33 years we are the university champion from the past 32 years continuously we are athletic champion at bangalore university since from 1982 we have a very good team like football volleyball and basketball and wrestling after that we started uh, athletic since from that day onwards still today we are winning the championship 32 years continuous uh, champions in bangalore city it is a record in indian history i can say in the world history apart from this we have got ncc nsss so there also we have got a good stand more than 100 students they are there in ncc they learn discipline they learn how to do the respect to the teacher and how to speak in the society we can take up lot of work in the nss we will conduct the ye uh, forestation programs like uh, tree plantation sapling plantation and then tree shifting plantation teacher and student relation it will be like, okay sir yes sir but in our in our class it's nothing like that and all these teachers they never tend to be there as uh, professors Uh, very dignified they always come down at our level uh, they talk with like uh, you know sister and brothers one like family like doing a very holistic job not only catering to the academic needs of the students but also to the overall development of the students it is basically a large institution which uh, helps uh, the students uh, to not only Uh, get academic excellence uh, but also to a very large extent uh, uh, develops their personality that is the hallmark of uh, alumin college uh, because today whatever we are it is uh, because of alumin college only but at the same time uh, it has helped us to you know to dream big i think alumin played a big part to grow as a person as from kid to a man so i think it it has played a big part being uh, to grow as a person it is our campus is one of the best campuses in bangalore city uh, there is no ragging nothing no drugs no cigarettes no pan good cars nothing nothing happens here it's a very well secured place and of all the things we get fresh air because of adjoining lal bagh here alamin degree college has got students from uh, different parts of the country irrespective of caste and creed and even uh, you see in the appointment of the faculties also will purely go on merit not uh, on caste system that is not at all there Mo- simple motto is to serve the humanity purely in education and also we end up with education only that means education 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 the alumin degree college is accredited by nac with a grade that is the unique speciality
these institutions are open to all communities, all castes, people speaking different languages, coming from different regions, and even to foreign students. About 100 foreign students are studying in our institutions. Welcome to Alamin. Welcome to Alamin. Welcome to Alamin. Uh, welcome to Alamin. Welcome to Alamin. Welcome to Alamin. Welcome to Alamin. Welcome to Alamin Art Science and Commerce College. Welcome to Alamin Educational Society Bangalore and Alamin Art Science and Commerce Degree College. Welcome to Alamin.